Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. The Queen of Wands still came out. Yeah, okay. Nine of Cups. Yep. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody wants you. They want you, baby. <laughs> I'm thinking of like a silly kind of energy. Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. But somebody is um, starting over in life. They're freshly out of a relationship. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, though, they want to invest. They want to put the work in, okay? The Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands, you have the Strength card here. Um, mm, your energy may come off as, I just literally heard, vivacious. <laughs> Whatever that means. Vivacious. Um, you may be quite the firecracker. The... You're, you're a real force to be reckoned with whoever this is for. But somebody is looking like, yeah, you definitely have a masculine out here. A heavy Leo energy doesn't have to be, though. You're very free, very liberated, very much a free-spirited person. And, and I feel like whoever this is, you are... Um, you're open, you're honest, you're authentic about create creating things for yourself. Whatever you're manifesting, very you're very liberated. You know, you're living, you're happy. Whoever this is, you're happy. And somebody now is thinking like, okay, they want to put the work in. This page of cups, they're inspired. Ace of cups, they're in love. Somebody has fallen in love with a queen of wands, a page of cups, though. This person is not quite on your level or they feel like they're not on your level. There is some kind of, you know, honestly, maybe intimidation here. But it's like this person's love is growing. Like this person is sitting around now, like what can they do to be seen as somebody who is really, really strong that can handle you? That's what they want. They... There's love here. Four of Cups. Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You may have told a person that like you're discontent or bored, or you just feel like now isn't a good time or this is a missed opportunity. You may be in that, you know, maybe next lifetime kind of energy. This person is like, oh no, 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 no. Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you could have kind of moved away from a situation or a person to focus more on your security or stability or just your own self-healing journey. This has made somebody even more drawn to you. The way you've been able to put up boundaries with somebody, they're very, very drawn to that energy. They love it. Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're very, somebody here, you're you're very, very spiritual, very creative, an extremely powerful manifest. It's like, if you think it or you say it, it manifests. You have a lot of downloads here, but you have here the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Somebody here is every queen. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Wands is out here. Somebody made a decision to free themselves from the past, like I said, to heal. And now you have here the Queen of Pentacles. Here's the Hermit, the Moon, and then the Chariot. But this man is on top of this. So you have a masculine out here. Let me tell you, this person here has cut all. There is no competition. They cut everybody off. Or they're in the process of doing this now. They're, they're in the process of of cutting everything and everyone off because they want this queen of wands. And the queen of wands, like I said, could be any sign. But they want this person that has this, this light, this, this, this energy, this glow, this business about themselves. Yeah, this person here is trying to get to on your level. They're trying to hit get that flame. Look at this guy. They're trying to get their they're trying to get this queen of wands. Yep. 
Look at it, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Empress. Somebody wants to work with you bad. Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. This situation has you very confused or it's, yeah, the Six of Wands. You, you're not going to see this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and then the Emperor. You're not going to see this coming. So the Emperor and the Empress is out here. You might as well just trust the process. Somebody didn't, they didn't um, know at first, but they know now. They definitely got the assignment. Oh, loud and clear, they know. I don't know if this person tried to, upon meeting you, they thought maybe they could deal with another person. They could have been in between worlds trying to figure out what it was going to be with you and somebody else. Somebody knows. The Queen of Wands, this person is, if it was a competition before, they're like, oh, no, no, no. There is no competition. All of these queens, this person, like, all of you got to go. That's the three, look, that's the three cups, and here's the one. And I feel like this divine feminine is just like, mm, well, you know, when you rec when you recognize that I'm divine feminine, give me a shout. Until then, you're living your life. You're free. You're, you have your boundaries in place. And this person, they got the message loud and clear. They was like, okay, let me go put it in the work because they saw how strong you are. And somebody saw that you had the strength and the courage to block them and to leave them out. You didn't play games with this person. I don't, I don't think that you fell off your square and allowed yourself to juggle or miss a beat with somebody. You, you're like, you're, this is somebody's cutoff game. Like your cutoff cancel game, somebody, they wasn't ready for it. Page of Cubs, this person kind of came in with a very small offer. Could have even tried to break from you or love bomb you. And you was just like, mm -mm. been there, done that. Got a t-shirt, water bottle, bumper sticker, signed up for the email list. No, thank you. Bye. <laughs> This person was like, oh, wow. Okay. This is different. This is not just some like, oh, the thrill of the chase. Oh, no, no, no. This person literally is completely captivated and enamored with this energy that you have. They, they know they can't find it anywhere. This person here is going through the, look, their little black book. All of the people in their past, they're comparing you to everybody in their past. Five of Wands here. They're looking at every single person they've ever been with, and they're like, nobody compares to this person. Hands down, this Divine Feminine, whoever it is, Queen of Wands, any sign, that's the one. This is whoever knows how to manifest. Or whoever has come into this masculine's life that is teaching them about manifestation. It could be somebody that's a little bit on the witchy side. They're like, I don't, they're like, I, I like it. They like it. I feel like this is the kind of person they may have thought that you was going to be complacent. You made a decision. You made a decision to tap in with your emotions and to isolate yourself from this particular person and not isolate yourself as in you ran from, you went and you focused on just being happy. Like I said, you, you understood this. I mean, you know your self-worth. You know your value. You're not playing around with this person, whoever they are. You, you freeze yourself. This is not somebody who was expecting you to do that. Now, as soon as you moved on, a piece will come more. This person ran right behind you. And they're like, well, I have a little bit of toxicity still left, but I'm working on it. But Ace of Pentacles, they want to work on things with you. They're like, listen, you're going to have to let me grow with you because they're not they're not about to just give up and leave. They're not doing it. They, I'm, I'm telling this person is like, I'm not willing to leave. Two of Pentacles, four of Cups, seven of Wands. Yeah, you weren't, you weren't going to let this person juggle you or have you in any kind of competition. Again, heavy, heavy emphasis on your own victory, success, rewards, and recognition. This person is seeing you do something in your life and it has them like, wow, you didn't skip a beat. It's like if this person stopped calling you, texting you or something like that, you jumped right into receiving from something or somebody else or building something for yourself. 
you were not trapped. I, I don't feel like you were trapped at all. This person, they definitely want to work on something with you. I mean, this nine of swords is out here. Which the nine of swords, I mean, this could be some kind of stress, fear, anxiety. Um, I feel like for some of you, in a, for a moment there, you may have... I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel like this situation gave you any kind of anxiety. I feel like as soon as you started... I see it right now. When you saw that this person was rebuilding or whatever they were doing and you started to feel confused... It's sort of like, like I tell myself, if it came from God, it shouldn't be confusing. You, I feel like you quickly got yourself out of a situation with the Six of Pentacles here. You was like, you know, honestly, it doesn't seem like we're equally yoked. This is not equal give and take. It's not really what I'm looking for. And so you just got out of there because as soon as you saw some kind of red flag or stress with this situation that could have potentially led to the Ten of Swords, I feel like you just like, oh, you was like abort mission. You just got out of there. And you're keeping because you have too much of your own to protect. Yeah, you already built something for yourself that has to be protected. You you have the strength and the courage to say no to this situation. And what's coming in now is the Emperor Empress, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. The real deal is coming. It could be this person or it's somebody new. It's because of your strength to recognize when something just isn't working or it's not worth your time. It's not worth your time, effort, and your energy. You turned your back to this person. I don't know if this... The lovers. Oh, baby. It's a connection here. But you have here the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands here with the Two of Wands. It's like you're manifesting. Your ships are coming in. Right now, you're taking a break or you're separated from somebody. And there's... Look, Justice, the Tower. There's an Eclipse. Something here is over, but somebody, I'm telling you, this person's like, uh, this person is not letting you, I feel like for a lot of you, this is the same person. They're like, oh no, they're going to be willing to actually go and do the work to let go of some kind of toxicity here. And you may have a bit of, I don't want to say toxicity but you may have some you may have a mindset about this person or this situation because of your own baggage from the past as well because somebody here you you want to be careful nine of wands seven of swords not to self-sabotage the nine of pentacles is in the reverse and the king of pentacles with the judgment I feel like this Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse because this King of Pentacles, I feel, is coming in. Wait a minute. Because I, I, it's some Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, they, they kind of, that that's lacking security, stability. It also could be no longer doing everything alone. But you have the devil here, the ten of wands, toxic mindset, control, obsession, addictions, emotional drama, baggage, seven of swords, lying, cheating, scheming, scamming. Yeah. Like I said, it's a warning here for some, or you already got the red flag of the warning. You need to protect something that you've already created. The nine of wands, you've already been wounded by some kind of situation and experienced some kind of setback. So now you you know that you need to allow yourself with this awakening, the good judgment that you have, the judgment of your higher self, you know you need something that's really secure and stable. This being like um, eager to jump into situations, accepting the bare minimum or whatever. No, you're, you're, you've put an end to that situation. Dealing with a kind of person who is in and out, hot and cold. No, I feel like right now, the Knight of Wands, the Wheel, and the Eight of Wands, you're in this energy, again, the Queen of Wands. You're very, very happy, positive, excited, and optimistic about how you're moving forward. That has this person 
heartbroken. They are extremely disturbed by this. So you are somebody's karma, the Hierophant. Somebody is now like <laughs> really trying to figure out what to do next. Child. Look, the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Four of Wands. For some of y'all, I really do feel like this is the same person. I feel like this person got really shocked by you rejecting them in some kind of way. And now they're coming in with an extremely serious offer. You are like this, this person's karma, but it feels more like you, whatever, however you're handling the situation, it caused a major ego death for this person. Like, I'm telling you, this person, if this is the same person, they're not playing any games with you. Now, if it's not the same person, as soon as you get done with this situation, you have life partner, divine counterpart, like that connection is coming right in. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, you're going to have the, the health, the wealth, money, security, stability, happy life, happy, happy house, happy spouse. You're going to have all of that. But it's your strength and your and your courage. It's your ability to be soft and feminine, but to also be in that lioness like energy of, of having that faith that you know you can have what you want and you don't have to sell them. It's giving very much like you're gonna have to show somebody that they can't play with you. Because let's be honest, everybody will try to play with you. You're gonna have to really show somebody that no. They can't play with you. And I feel like as soon as they, as you do that with this person, it's game over. That's what I'm, it, it's game over. Completely. Because I'm telling you, somebody is looking, they're looking, they, they're, they already know. Everything that they've had in their past, they can see you're nothing like that. You're not in the same running with any of the people that they've ever been with. This is somebody too. They've never felt the need to go from a boy to being a man because of the women that they've been with. But see, they've met this spiritually evolved and awakened feminine. This got them now trying to <laughs> cross the burning sands to get to her. See, this queen of wands can stand in the fire. This person, they've been through... The earth, okay, <laughs> the waters, the air, but this queen of wands, oh no, you, you, you got to go through some heat to get to her. And I feel like this person, they, they, they crossing the burning sand. They're doing it. They're, they're doing it. Pay attention to your dreams. Wow. Runner, yeah, this person ran. Or they thought you were gonna chase them, but unconditional love. I can't manifesting. They're manifesting on they're manifesting unconditional love. They know. They made a choice. The king of wands. Look, they made a choice. Why? Because you uh, you've awakened them. You've given them something that nobody else has ever given them before. A reason to change. Quality time. <laughs> quality time, it says making plans. This person is making plans. They're coming in to spend quality time with you. And they're leaving behind everything that, and everyone that doesn't serve them. Clarity. This person right now is learning some lessons and going through a period of self-development and self-growth. They may need to be alone. But they're thinking about how they can come in. You have here water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, happiness, soul purpose is here, moving forward, it's a past life connection. Somebody could have had like a situation from the past that was causing them to hold back from love out of fear of rejection, but somebody is now looking at a situation different, differently. So we have heavy, heavy fire and water. Somebody is desiring you. They want this connection bad. Secret admirer watching you. 
and flow. It says here, trust. Go with the flow. You're manifesting something here. And somebody could be working on their finances. Divine Feminine. So I feel like Divine Feminine, it's like it, holding back. When you saw that somebody wasn't giving you equally, you quickly got into your Divine Feminine and action. And you took action. And you started manifesting money. Now this person is regretting it. And they're about to call <laughs> and tell you that they, they have a decision. They want to offer you a gift now. This is going to be very shocking to you. Very shocking. Now, I mean, you don't have to accept an offer, but it might be very shocking to you to find out that somebody, this is like somebody who is a player, very arrogant, egotistical. You know, they have a lot of options. They have a lot of options. They can't shake you, though. So let's get, I, I'm going to pull these cards for advice because I don't know. You have your addiction and spiritual lesson. You may just be this person's karma to teach them a lesson. Protect it. You are safe and divinely guided. True love. All right. It's true love and it's protected. But there was some kind of interference here, some kind of third party energy. And maybe time apart. Look, what I say? Leap of faith. It is safe for you to consider the move you're considering. Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Firm boundaries are needed now. Financial challenges are affecting this relationship. And it is safe to trust in this situation. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. And addiction is affecting this relationship. And abundance. You've done the work so abundance flows to you now. You already know the answer that you see. Yeah. You have to let somebody know that you was not a game for them to play with. This is somebody out here who was in their ego. And their ego is the reason probably why they're even having, um, while they're experiencing rejection, perhaps in their finances, their employment, while they're having financial challenges or whatever. This person, will, even despite their challenges and the interference in their life, they still have a big ego. They didn't expect you to put up any kind of boundaries with this person. But I feel like you did and you separated yourself. You took the leap of faith. You weren't afraid to lose this person. And they're realizing now that, oh, this is true love. Because without you doing anything, they can't stop obsessing over you. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you to let go and then marriage is here. You've done the work, so abundance flows to you. Not, yeah. So for some of you, this, this could even be like twin flames. There's a separation though. Your person was running from the responsibility and the intensity of this connection. But when they look over the past and everything else, they're like, yeah, no. They can't they can't turn away from it now. Like I said. This person, they made a choice to go towards their actual their, their counterpart, the person that has opened up their third eye, the person that makes them very passionate about life. That's who they want to be with. They've already taken time out to reflect over all of their past people. Nobody has made this person though want to experience this type of ego death and develop themselves and step into their higher self to really manifest that they've never had so what they've never had unconditional love for somebody this person is realizing now maybe through a separation or whatever they have unconditional love for you that's why it's the page of cups going to the king of cups the sun and the ace of cups for some of you this person even wants to have a child with you like they want to be completely all in look at that the sun totally different day ace of pentacles and the lovers they are they know it's you. They they know it. Like it's you. The high priest is out, is out here with the hierophant. Page of Pentacles. That's the confirmation. The Page of Pentacles. This person is going to be ring shopping if they haven't already. I guarantee you that in their mind, they've already planned out what they want to do to make sure that you're very happy and willing to accept this offer from them. You probably have already gone through a lot and they know that. Yeah. This situation scared you too. 
when when this felt like it was anything that could be similar to something that you were already struggling to let go of, you quickly got out of it. And I feel like that's what it was good because it let this person know that you're not going to play games. You're not going to waste time with them. They weren't expecting that. They were not expecting to deal with somebody who was so conscious, so aware of the games that they tried to play. But I'm going to tell you, this person, they're not stupid. They were going to try to play like they didn't know what was going on because it's worked with so many other people. And they have options. They always have somebody to fall back on. But now they want partnership. They want somebody that they can work with. Five of Cups and the Justice. So for some of you, the truth is, this situation, something about it, has been disappointing, but it was to show you the truth and give you some clarity about something. But this transformation is leading you to, to the ultimate wish fulfillment. The truth is, this is your person for some of you. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. That's the truth. <laughs> and the Emperor. Oh my gosh, with the Empress. Whatever hardship has been happening, whatever stress, that's about to be over. And especially if there's somebody here who has been having financial challenges, you're about to start seeing this person give to you. I feel like some of you too, you walked away from this person and you definitely worked on your own finances. Yeah, this person, they're going to come in soon as the King of Pentacles. The worst is over. Wow, the star again. You can have hope in this situation. I feel like it's safe. Wow. You saw that I just cut the day. What, let me show you what's here. Marriage. Forever commitment. Water. Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy water and fire. Somebody has to go through a dark night of the soul. Wow. Because they were unawake, unawakened and being ruled by ego. This was causing a blockage in someone's love life and finances. Yep, this masculine. That's why they were holding back so much. Because of their ego. Now, they're healing their inner child and they're preparing to marry you. They could have had their eye on somebody else. With competition being out here or they just had options. They're being advised by their higher self, by God, that they better go with the person that's going to um, awaken their soul. Because it's something about that energy, that Queen of Wands energy. It doesn't matter the sign. Fire, that passion. This person can move forward in life with the right person. But they're going to have to actually grow. Learn that and realize it. Wow. Okay. It's pretty, pretty solid. You're protected. And if there was some kind of third party interference where there was a person, financial challenges, or even just somebody needed to heal, that's being cleared up so that this can go towards marriage. Whatever the blockage was, or is, this person could be a little bit intimidated, okay? They could have had an ex-lover that was causing tension or issues between the two of you. This card was not supposed to be in this deck. For some of you, you need to get somebody to perform a hex-breaking ritual. It wasn't supposed to be that. Whenever I did, whenever that happens, I always tell you guys, it's a message. Somebody, an ex-lover could have done a hex. Okay. You know, I just, I just want to pull something different, but like... Okay, I, I know the deck I want to use. I feel like it's something else that needs to be said. So some kind of situation here where there was some false hope at the bottom of the deck. A false twin flame will lead you on to tell you that they feel the same way about you. 
only for you to discover later on that that isn't the case. Highs and lows. Karmic love is often passionate and fiery one minute, cold and distant the next, usually representing unhealed aspects you are both working through. Now, I never use this deck, but something told me I need to pull these cards right now. Some of you, with this energy of somebody coming back after you distance yourself, please be very discerning. Some of you, yes, you can have a separation from a person. They can do the work. They can heal. You can move forward. But if you know it's a situation where you have been put through hell and flat out embarrassed and somebody is coming in back and forth constantly to love bomb you and play games with you to give you false hope and you think that because you have highs and lows, please do not be um, schemed, scammed, and led on by a false person. I knew it was a reason to pull these cards. Karmic. There's a karmic person out here. But it is meant to help you to grow and heal so that you can find your true soulmate. Remember in the reading, I told you, some of you, you're gonna, you're not going to let somebody back in your life and you're going to go right into a connection with somebody else. Some of you, you're in a connection with somebody now. Or you're about to go into a connection. You have an ex-lover. Who is intimidated. They're upset because you've healed. And they know they only offered you a one-sided connection. Please, don't, don't be tricked by that person. Wow. False twin flame. And then twin flame. Wow. It was a reason why I needed to get this deck. You have a karmic, a false twin flame, and then twin flames. It says your connection is blocked either by a third party or some outside influence. Shift your focus on yourself and release them for now. I feel that a lot of you, you've done this. Or like the reading was showing, when you do this, that's when you are going to gain a lot of support. This person is going to become very much emotionally available. Easy breezy. No relationship is easy, but it shouldn't be a war either. You will work together and make room for improvements in your connection and then mirroring. Your twin flame is reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from this relationship. Again, you have to be very discerning because for some of you, let me make this clear. So your actual twin flame can come to you and still have karma. Like karmic debts. They could still have a person that's attached to them. And remember we saw that card. Somebody need, somebody could have had some kind of hex over them by an ex-lover. So they could be in a situation when you first met them, there was still some karmic debts. It was still something where someone interfering in the relationship. But they're still meant to teach you a lesson. It says you have met your twin flame and even though it will be challenging, it can create a profound and life altering sense of wholeness. So you have a twin flame that may still have some kind of karmic energy or there's an interference, but you also have a false twin flame. The interference for some of you is this false twin that either you have or your person has. I feel like you, wow, you both have karmics and a, and a false twin, like a karmic to me is like a karmic soulmate. Somebody in your life, it didn't work out, but they still taught you something. The false twin flame is the person that just drains you. They And you think it's your twin because of the highs and lows, but no, this person just drains, sucks the life out of you. You've gone through all these situations, though, to prepare you for your actual twin flame or soulmate or whomever you're supposed to be with. I do feel that a lot of you, though, you do have an actual twin flame. And I feel like it's going to be a healthy connection when you get rid of this false twin flame or this karmic soulmate. Surrendering. Wow. Wow. It says both of you are starting to give up on the need to control. It's not about giving up on the connection, but accepting that you can't run from destiny. Manifesting and friendship, right timing. I'm telling you. So for some of you, you, you may have told your twin, like, listen, let's just focus on being friends. 
or you need to work on the friendship aspect of the relationship so that it can be playful. You can have fun. You want to have positive, happy thoughts about this person. And when you get to that point, your souls will both evolve and awaken to the connection. And you, that's when it can turn into marriage. But somebody needs to let go of their regret about a love that they've already lost. Where they were stuck in limbo. So this could be you or your person. But somebody needs to go through their dark night of the soul. And, and finally accept that whoever they were with before, that they had a family with or who they wanted a marriage or family or commitment with, it didn't work out because there was a karmic soulmate or a false twin flame. Wow. So you, you guys, you're, you're clearing through a lot of like karmic energies. And it seems like, like they're all around you. They're coming in many different forms. But it also feels too for those of you who are who are actual twins, you and your person both have someone from the past that you're still kind of energetically tied to. Or you let that person go and they're like possibly attacking you in some kind of way. Is what I'm getting to be honest. But there's marriage here. It comes from some kind of like deep healing. And you guys are doing it. I mean, it's clear. You're doing the work. And your person is doing the work too. But I just feel that there was a connection that you guys had with a person who was very intimidated. It was a one-sided situation and they were hating on you. They, they were trying to sabotage your life secretly. And you're getting the truth about this, but you're needing to accept and heal from this situation. Allow yourself to, to get past the heartache and the pain that that situation caused you. I'm looking for... No, am I gonna leave it here? It's a deck that I'm seeing in my head. Whenever I see that, I'm like, well, yeah, I I have one more message for you guys. One second, it's something in this deck. You see, I'm having such a hard time finding it, and I'm being called to you pull decks that I don't usually, well, that I haven't used in a while. So. Look at that vibrational match and spiritual practice. It says making time for your spiritual practice will assist you with clearing your mind and restoring your inner peace. So some of you, whatever your spiritual practice, this is going to the gym, breath work, yoga, journaling, whatever. By doing that, it's going to help you to become a vibrational match. You're going to send out new signals to the universe that's going to bring about a more positive outcome things that you are mad yeah onward and upward some of you really whoever this past person is that is constantly interfering in your relation it's an energy it's it's the thought of how wicked this person was that just bothers you or your person because i feel like if especially if you're a divine i feel like you you're kind of beyond that in your situation but you may have a masculine that dealt with a really nasty energy in the past one of you or both of you dealt with somebody that was just awful and it's not so much like you're still caught up on the, but the feeling, like you're afraid to repeat that cycle again. But it says, let go of the past so you can be present and create the future that you desire. Yeah, it's time to let that go. Because your dream come true is here. It's happening in divine time and something is a blessing in, dis in disguise. But it's important that you practice having this lightheartedness. Something here is a false assumption. This is simply a misunderstanding, let go of the need to be right. So for some of you, you may assume like, oh, this person, they're, they're cheating, they're doing da, 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 like something crazy because of your experiences from the past. 
No, somebody here is actually going through a spiritual awakening. They're not lying or cheating. They're going through a spiritual awakening because they want to be the best version of themselves for themselves and ultimately in the future for you. There's a new business um, adventure or project or career that's in the works for you. You're, you've been wishing on a star. It's time for you to dream again. Go ahead, make a wish because you're manifesting magic. It's all a part of the divine plan. Collaborate. Listen, you and somebody are supposed to work together. There's collaboration and teamwork all over this reading. Divine intervention has taken place to clear some karmic energy and people out of your life because you and somebody, most likely you're, you're supposed to be married to this person and the two of you are supposed to build some type of business together. You could even build like a spiritual practice together. That car was out here. You and this person could have a spiritually based business together. So what you have gone through separately and apart was a blessing in disguise because it's going to help you to actually, I guess, like mentor and help other people. That's, that's for some of you. Of course, not everyone's story, but your, your marriage is going to be a ministry. You're going to be able to show other people that like love does exist, that it can, you can have true love. You can have a healthy, happy relationship and in those relationships, you can you still have obstacles and challenges like anyone else. It's something very specific about your marriage being a ministry. It is to still share a lot of hope. Showing that people can actually build a legacy. You can work with your partner if you want to. But something here is a part of a divine plan. So I do, again, for a lot of you, this person is not a, it's somebody in your life now that's just going to go through an ego death and it's going to get more serious. But for some of you, this is somebody you know. And by you separating yourself and focusing on yourself, it's manifesting them back. But it's manifesting them back in a way where they're coming back as an actual vibrational match. Yeah. Empathic overload and energy protection. This person could, because of their ego, they could have started displaying or demonstrating some narcissistic tendencies. So because you started to feel like you weren't safe dealing with this person, you needed to separate yourself. But it's true love. And true love sometimes is all about boundaries. Because that says that you love yourself enough not to let somebody drag you through the mud. And you love yourself enough to also share with other people the importance of them learning how to love themselves. This is beautiful, okay? 